Okay. I hope that's set right. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And I was, you know, I was debating setting this up. Before you go into the comments and say something like, Jack, you're 20, you're already living the dream, you're sailing the world, you don't need to know what you're doing with your life. Let me paint a picture for you. I've been living on a boat for the past seven and a half years. And when you live on a boat for seven and a half years, the day-to-day -day becomes routine. You know, you get into it, you know what to do. Basically, every day is super, super similar. To me, it doesn't feel special or different. Most 20-year-olds have a job. I don't know if most 20-year-olds live with their parents. You know, I look in the mirror and I'm not that same kid I was when we first got this boat. That kid is all grown up now and he's got adult responsibilities he's got to take care of. I'm a completely different, well, not completely, but I am a different person. And as days and months pass, I start to realize that my childhood is over. I don't know how many of you are in your early 20s, late teens, and just don't know what to do with your life. Because that's kind of the kerfuffle I'm in right now. I'm not gonna lie. Living on a boat for seven and a half years, it gives you a lot of time to think. A lot of time to think about what you want to do with your life, where you want to be, the places you've been, because, and I don't want to sound shallow or arrogant, but I have done so much already. I have seen so much more compared to a lot of people. And, you know, you would think I should have it at least somewhat pieced together based on the life I've had. But I find it quite the opposite. I feel like since I've seen so much and done so much, I've my plate is so full. I've got such a big plate that I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. And it makes me think, is this better than this? Or is this thing better than this thing? And what's better for me? What am I interested in? Or should I disregard what I'm interested in and do what makes money? And all these different things. It's overwhelming. But I tell you what I do know. I want to be useful. I don't want to be a liability. I want to be someone you can count on and rely on when you need something done in any sense. And you know, I'll go on social media and I'll see all these people who are doing all these things and they just seem to have it together so much better than myself. And I know that's not entirely true, but it still makes me question what I'm doing with my own life. And I for sure don't want to look back on these days and say, man, I wish I at least tried to utilize the opportunity that was given to me there. And so I know, I know there's a fine balance there. It's somewhere there. There's some balance that I have to find. We're going to be crossing the Atlantic in about two months. Once we cross, we'll end up in the Caribbean and spend one month there, and then we'll be in America. And once we're in America, that is basically the time I need to decide, okay, what direction do I want my life to go in? Let's look at what I want. I wanna go through life and have a family and have kids and be able to have enough money in my bank account to where I can go do something and I don't have to get told, hey, you can't do that, you don't have enough money. And in order to get there, I need to start making decisions now that set myself up for when we get back to the States. So that's why I'm doing YouTube because I feel like this is an essential building block in building my personal brand and the future I want. I guess it's just kind of scary being in your 20s and knowing that these next 10 years, you're either gonna decide to build or break your future. And you know, I've, I've never been a super extroverted person. I've never liked going to parties or going clubbing or going or any of that kind of stuff. I've kinda, you know, I don't need other people to have a good time. That's never really been something that's important to me. My family's been very important to me but I don't think it would kill me if I left and, you know, kind of did a solo thing. But regardless of what happens, I will have to leave and I will have to figure one thing or another out.
I guess the reason I wanted to share this is because a lot of people think boat life is super glamorous and that there's no problems whatsoever. You know, in my videos, I try to make it look like I'm living the dream and that I've got no issues. But in reality, I still have my own struggles and things I'm trying to figure out. But you know, that's not the only reason why I'm making this video. I'm also making this so that whenever I do have all this figured out, later in the future, I can come back and I can look at this and think, at least I hope I'll think, man, I was worried over nothing. I think that's all I gotta say. Bye-bye.